managed to hop, skip, and a jump past the Leonard Building, a big blue truck sat waiting in the parking lot. It's been a long time coming, but after almost 10 years, the Doppler on Wheels, or the Dow as it's called, has finally made its way back to Penn State, and the Department of Meteorology couldn't be more excited. One of the Dow's most recent stops was the University of Hawaii, and it will be headed to the University of Northern Colorado after it leaves State College. The Center for Severe Weather Research's Dow Network consists of three mobile Doppler radar trucks, Dow 5, Dow 6, and Penn State's current visitor, Dow 7. Penn State professors Dr. Yvette Richardson and Dr. Matt Cumgen submitted a proposal back in April to have the Dow come to the university. The request was through the Center for Severe Weather Research and was sent to the National Science Foundation to compete with other universities with atmospheric science programs. So the radar meteorology class uh, was reintroduced after not being offered for several years. And so we wanted to take that opportunity to, to try to get the students hands-on experience op actually operating a radar um, and seeing real time the decisions that they make, how that affects data quality and things like that. The NSF approved the proposal early this past summer, and both doctors Richardson and Cumgen have been planning the Penn State University Dual Pole Radar for Outreach and Precipitation Studies, or PSU Drops, project since then. We were lucky enough that the National Science Foundation has this program for education and outreach, and so we decided to try to get it out here so that the students could have first-hand experience um, to actually learning to use a radar and seeing the data coming in. And that's exactly what they did. Students from various meteorology courses had the opportunity to tour the truck, and some even went on deployments to collect their own data. Crowds of folks flooded Allen Street for the Fall Festival in downtown State College this past Saturday. From 10 until 3, people wandered along the street, enjoying the beautiful fall day with a guest appearance by the Dow. Penn State meteorology faculty and students volunteered their time with the Dow to get adults and kids interested in science, particularly the weather. This, that is a tornado pod. Um, it detects um, what, what would happen in a tornado. It's very cool, there's a lot of controls in there and once you get in there, and you, it's just overwhelming, but the opportunity to learn how to work the Dow is pretty exciting and it puts us at an advantage because not many people get to go inside and actually work with this this big piece of equipment. It's really neat to actually educate people about it even as a student who doesn't have a full degree in it it's still to provide some insight it's pretty neat. But what does this project mean for the department? It really puts the uh, educational experience in the practice which I think is a great opportunity for our students and it's also great to bring such a nice research instrument to the community and let them take a look and kick the wheels and see what it's like to actually be engaged in research in meteorology. You can do anything you want on the chalkboard, but actually getting out there and watching the students uh, learn real time with the radar, is, is it's a really great opportunity for them and for the department. Now me being a meteorology student myself, I have to say this thing is pretty neat, but we weather weenies aren't the only ones who think so. It, it, it really is cool. The public is definitely very interested in it. The tornado pods and you know the big truck with the spinning dish. Like everyone's, in, a lot of people are really interested and intrigued by it. And it's really good to see you know the community out on a really very nice fall day right now. It's really nice to see them out and about. You know, it's nice for us to you know spread awareness about meteorology and just you know get the community you know involved and let them know what we're doing. It has been a successful two weeks with the Dow, and we'll all be sad to see it go. In State College, for whether or not, I'm Jillian Bohenick.